Hi, welcome to our uh, in-depth walkthrough of uh, AI integration with two hours step three of uh, content creator workflows. So um, as you can see in the in step three, we expanded our uh, screen real estate so that you can fully focus on just drafting and creating your content. Um, from here, we built our AI assistant with the belief in mind that we want to, first of all, uh, help you to access AI assistant exactly where you need it with what you need it. Um, secondly, it should be able to assist you with expanding on original idea which you already built. So as you can see from the outlines that you built, um, our AI should be able to help you expand that outlines into uh, a well-written paragraph. And from there, you can edit, you can audit, you can expand that, uh, write, and um, sort of just craft it uh, as you would like. Um, thirdly, we will build a specific set of templates that only focus on helping you in crafting your content. So in step one, we provide you with 20 plus different templates. And those are the templates that helped you that focus purely on building to help you creating outlines. But in these steps, we add on with the additional 20 plus, uh, templates, another 40 plus templates. And these are the, all the templates that would help you to uh, write, literally write. Um, so we break that down, we add into another category as you can see, you can access our AI system in the bottom panel, turn it on, and you'll see in the playground here also appear on the right. We break that down to three pack categories. So outside, there are only two, which is outline and rewrite. But in here, you'll see that there's also another type of template that is auto write. And in auto write, there are all the type of templates that helped you write on and expand on original ideas that you have. For example, Paragraph introduction, introduction. So if you have a uh, if you have a paragraph uh, that you would like to put an introduction to it, this is the type of uh, template that you want to use. Next paragraph, block introduction, text finisher, text summarizer, or explaining like definition or explain why. So these are all of the templates that have the tendency to help you write for you, right? Um, we will continue to expand on this. Uh, in future, but at the moment, these are all the templates that we have built. And then you also access our outline template and then the rewrite template as well. Okay, um, so that's the first part, the first part where you can access our AI system. The second part is where we uh, have a, a button here. And this is also, this is a specific template that we built uh, for this panel and it's called bullet points to paragraph. So essentially what it does is that we want to be able to, I mean, of course, uh, the reason why we build this is because we don't believe that AI are capable of just purely give them an idea and they will be able to write out a huge long form uh, article for you. But with the help of building a really structured outline first, you can teach AI to start crafting paragraph by paragraph accordingly to the, the content in which you build in your outline. And that way you are able to capitalize on the quality of the output a much higher chance than, than if you just tell an AI and have them write for you. So a bit more research work, but in return, you have a lot better result in terms of quality. So that's why we kind of build this specific uh, outline template for you just being here. You cannot access this from any other point of the uh, assistant. And um, this is probably the most well-trained AI model that we ever built. Um, so it typically will give you pretty, pretty good uh, quality uh, in terms of content. The third place you can access our AI assistant is directly into the tool. So you right click in the tool, you'll have an AI shortcut panel right here. So for example, if uh, let's say you have a piece of content right here, you could just simply highlight it and then you can access the AI shortcut from here. So we give you two options. The first is if you highlight a piece of content, um, we will show you over here, there's the information panel and it said only highlighted text will be used as input, right? It means that the text that you highlight are the only place where we draw that as input to teach the AI to give you an output. But let's say you don't highlight anything and you simply right click onto any given place of the tool, you will also provide you with the AI shortcut panel, but now all text above will be used as input. So make, make sure you note on this area so that you can utilize the tool to its maximum uh, potential. So with this 
when you highline, the AI shortcut will provide you also with another list of templates and we call them transition. So in transition, you'll be able to just use a different transitional phase like in addition, plus, furthermore, uh, sequences, condition, result, or summary. All of these are type of uh, transitional phase that helps you expand on uh, what you already written. So that's why we call it AI shortcut. So it should only appear right here onto the text uh, drafting uh, panel. So that is the short basic uh, introduction of uh, the two in here. So and sh making one of the things I want to highlight in here is that please make sure that if you build a really good outlines, there are very high chance that you'll be able to utilize our AI to create a really good paragraph. Let's say an example, I'll take this outline. What is a good nutrition plan for athlete? And there, these are all the, the, the points in paragraph that I put below. Simply click on the button and the AI will generate you this panel. Click generate. Uh, for now, I recommend you guys choose creativity level at number one, simply because at number one, um, well, the AI actually learned the most effective uh, at the moment. Uh, now, any expanding of the, 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 the higher the value of creativity will actually uh, may result into some result that you may not like because it's uh, kind of still learning, try to put things into perspective and, and, and it may give you some diverse result. Right, so I will click generate and you will be able to right away see um, a result that to me is I mean, it, it is a really good AI writing. 156 word. A good nutrition plan for an athlete consists of a balanced diet, moderate exercise and proper rest. A good nutrition plan will consist of the following. Eat five serving fresh food, uh, basically kind of giving you some of the information that you will need. So it's a long form content that you can utilize right away, right? So the same thing with the topic down here, simply click and you will be able to see that our AI will learn from the, uh, the bullet and turn that into a piece of paragraph. At any moment, you don't like the result that turned out, you can just simply click on generate again to get another, um, another uh, piece of content, like for example, this one. Whatever you feel like you really like uh, and satisfy with the result, um, you can click on the right from outline to see the topic and bullet as you compare to the result that you like. And when you like it enough, just click copy and ta da, you'll be able to see it right away into this. Um, then you just add the add H2 into the top, turn this into heading two, and you got yourself a really good looking layout and paragraph, right? Uh, once you see the paragraph, you can highlight it, click on AI shortcut, click right for me. We'll, we'll actually, AI will learn from this paragraph and continue on with whatever that was before. So this is one of the strengths in which we want to continue to, to focus on is to make the experience of putting this uh, writing, putting this uh, writing experience a lot easier and more accessible for, for everyone. Okay. So that is the idea of our AI assistant in here. Please note one thing though, please note that our AI is just, the AI output is only as, as good as the input that is received. It means that, um, for example, if you utilize any of the AI assistant template in here, um, for example, create new and you do a paragraph introduction and they say that input your headings, um, let's say the flex citarian diet, uh, you will want to be able to, well, sorry, paragraph, next paragraph. So in each your paragraph, uh, make sure you input a high quality, the higher quality of the input that you put, the, the better the result will turn out uh, for you when our AI learn from it, right? So um, just like this, and you will be right away have a, have a very decent paragraph to to work with. That is, all right. So at any moment, you can just simply end session, return to playground. You can access your history by click on history tab. You can, uh, you can just click on any of this and you will be able to access all the past history of what our AI have already produced. This way you are in 100% control of the usage in, in the past and also the output quality that you already may have missed. 
right? Sometimes you are writing something, you generate something, and the next day you come back and you want to revisit what you've done in the uh, in in yesterday and consider between different options. You can always go into our history tab, and this is where we excelled in terms of user experience uh, when it comes to this, as we want to make sure that everything that you have built will always be there, right? And if you don't like something, just click on de sorry, click on delete, and it will actually be safe in your deleted option. And, and at any at any at any point you would like to see you like this and you want to generate more ideas, click on it, and it will generate into a new session for you to continue to play around. So this is how we uh, organize our our tool and our AI assistant in, uh, integrate that into our step three. So again, play around, explore. There's so many things that I may have missed um, in this short videos, but I'm sure once you start working on it, you'll be able to find a lot of amazing application uh, to utilize, uh, particularly with uh, a list of 70 plus templates uh, for you to play around. So have fun. Thank you for listening in. Mm -hmm.